Twitter question I was asked, and by friends and by the community, was the following, and a short answer if you would. Do you miss America? Do you want to come home? Yeah, absolutely. I've said this again and again. It's always been my intention to come home. Uh, I volunteered to go to prison. Uh, but so far, the U.S. government has only agreed not to torture me. <laughs> and wow, that's a start. I, I actually have that in right. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's a start. I don't think it's right to act as a deterrent against people who are trying to do the right thing in different situations. Um, I think everyone recognizes, and the courts have held that the NSA's activities were illegal. The laws have been changed as a result. The United Nations has declared that mass surveillance is a violation of human rights. A federal court of appeals has said these programs were likely unconstitutional. Again, even Congress, which doesn't do anything nowadays, uh, ended the program that was initially revealed. And more changes are coming. As we get further from 2015, when the government, uh, you know, a few officials were going, oh my gosh, this is the end of the world, blood on, the, blood on their hands, you know, people are going to die. And we're now sitting in 2016, and the government can't point to a single individual who has lost their life as a result, or even come to harm. Uh, I think we're reaching a new political moment where, yes, we'll always be struggling with sort of the, the desire of law enforcement agencies and intelligence agencies for more capability and more power. We're also becoming more sophisticated in a civil society uh, in recognizing that the only way to lose an open society in response to terrorism is for us ourselves to abandon. Terrorism is a real threat, but it is not an existential. There are simply not enough of them. They do not have enough capability to deal with all of us who are educated, 